This video will show you how to build out your modules from scratch by adding and creating content and activities. Firstly, select your module from the module selector widget. If you can't see the module you'd like to work with, you may need to submit a request to be manually enrolled. Information about this process can be found at tudublin.ie forward slash brightspace forward slash staff login. To begin building out your module, select content from the navbar on the module homepage. This will take you to the module content area. In Brightspace, your module content is organized into units and subunits, which are displayed on a multi-level table of contents on the left-hand side of your page. Before you begin adding content to your module, think about how you'd like to name and organize your units, for example, by theme, week, or both. To begin, click Add a unit from the table of contents and give your unit a name. Press Enter or click outside the field to confirm. This will now appear in your table of contents. Clicking Add a description will allow you to provide learners with a summary of what's included in each unit. From the editor, you can also add images and links to your description or include multimedia and existing files by clicking on the Insert Stuff button. When you add multiple units, you can change their display order by using the drag handle in the table of contents. Units and subunits can also be promoted and demoted in this way. Once you've created a unit, you can begin adding content such as documents, multimedia files and embedded videos, web links or SCORM objects. You can upload content using the Upload, Create button and drop down menu or by simply dragging and dropping content from your device into this area. Selecting the Upload Files option will open a pop-up dialog from where you can upload files from your device, from your cloud storage or from elsewhere within the module. When adding files from your device, you can select them manually using your device's file browser or simply drag and drop them directly into the pop-up window. When you've completed your upload, click Add to confirm. When adding video or audio from the web, you can copy its embed code and preview the file or upload multimedia directly from your device. Once your video or audio file has uploaded, you can add a description, change dates and restrictions, and track learner completion. You can also add a subtitle file to videos that you've uploaded. If you select the Create a File option, you can use Brightspace's HTML editor to create a page containing text, links and multimedia. This will appear to learners as a standard piece of content and be categorised as a web page. Brightspace offers a selection of different document templates that you can use to create this kind of content, such as a timeline, video lecture, or a tabbed interface. From this menu, you can also create links to content on the web and create new checklists, discussions, assignments, quizzes, and surveys. If you add a link as an external resource, it will open in a separate browser tab and student engagement won't be tracked. To add links to existing items that you've created elsewhere within your module, such as assignments, discussions or virtual classroom meetings, use the existing activities drop-down menu. While you're drafting content, you can toggle visibility on and off for students using the visibility button. You can also add start dates, due dates and end dates to units if you'd like to lock a piece of content so that it's only accessible between specific dates, after a date or until a date. All module events will be collated for learners in the module schedule section. Release conditions allow you to withhold a unit until the learner has satisfied a certain condition, such as completing a quiz, checklist or other unit, watching a video or opening a reading. 
You'll find a guide to these in the description. From the pop-up settings menu, you can change font settings and enable or disable completion tracking for your content. If you add a subunit, it'll appear nested beneath the unit in the content area and will add another level to your contents menu. When you've finished adding units and content to your module, make sure to provide a general overview here in the table of contents. If you select bulk edit at the top of your table of contents, you can simultaneously edit all of your units. For example, you may change their display order, change their status from draft to published, edit dates and restrictions, upload or link to new files and activities, configure completion tracking, and delete content and units. The content that you add to your units and subunits is organized by Brightspace into topics. For example, this unit, Lecture 1, has three topics, a video, a PDF reading, and a discussion. When learners complete a topic, a tick mark will appear next to it, instead of a dot. From the drop-down menu next to a unit, you may edit its title, change its order within your table of contents, or delete it. With topics, you can replace files, change their display order within a unit, edit properties such as descriptions and dates and restrictions, or delete them. If you return to the module homepage, each of the units you've added will be represented by a unique tile. When learners click on the Overview button, it will reveal the unit's description. A progress bar will show them how many topics they've completed if you've left this enabled. Here, completion might mean opening a link, viewing a video, or completing an assessment activity. If you'd like to change the banner image for an individual unit tile, you'll need to upload a file to its description using the Insert Image button in the HTML editor. You can also preview your module content as a student at any time by selecting the View as Student option from the Personal menu. When your module is ready, it's important to make it available for learners to enrol on. To do so, select Module Admin from the Module Tools drop-down menu, and then click Module Information on the next page. Make sure that the module is set to Active and also to Discoverable before clicking Save. While you're here, it's also important that you add an overall module description in order to make your module more discoverable by learners. This description must include, in this order, the lecturer's name, details of the student cohort taking the module, and a brief description. There's no need to edit any other settings on this page.